Well, welcome to this video. It's going to be a, a, a little fairly short, simple little video. It's a, an Easter theme. Now, I've done a lot of uh, nativity scenes, and I like making nativity scenes, and this is kind of that, except it's a resurrection scene, and I've never seen that before. This comes out of the latest issue of Scrove Saw Woodworking and Crafts magazine. It's the spring 2024 issue. I just received it shortly a, a time ago. And the, the lady that did this pattern says she had a request for this. Because she did, just like me, she did a lot of nativities. And someone requested this. And so she came up with this. And it's, it's unique. I've never, I, there could be some out there, but I've never seen a, a resurrection scene. Not like this anyway. Uh, so it's kind of a segmentation. Uh, the, the figures are cut apart, uh, stained different colors, and then glued back together. And the pattern reflects that. This is all just poplar. She used pine, reclaimed pine. I just had this half-inch poplar handy. So I used it because it cuts nice and sands nice and uh, takes the stain okay. It's not the prettiest wood in the world, but it worked for this. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll cut it out and glue it together and see how it went and it's a fairly easy one and I kind of like the effect. So stay tuned and we'll get to cutting on it. Well I got them cut out. It uh, wasn't real hard. There was kind of some interesting <coughs> cuts there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've put some stain on one. I had a, had a limited number of stains. I think I had three and so I managed to uh, try to mix and match them a little bit, leave some areas unstained as she did in her original, and uh, try to make it kind of look as interesting as I could. So now I've got to glue them together. Uh, it's not going to be real complex, real complicated. Uh, get them together, try to make them look good. It's kind of like a, a segmentation project uh, with a lot of veining in it. So let me get the the glue set up and I'll start trying to get it together and try to make it look like something. There's the finished scene. Uh, never, never heard of this sort of thing, but I thought it was kind of interesting. I want to do a little Easter display down in um, in my consignment shop. That's, if somebody wants to buy it, that's great. But that's mainly what this for is a display. But it will be for sale. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of interesting. It's a straightforward little project. Uh, I could have uh, shaped those pieces a little bit, put a little bit of a rounding on them, but I didn't. Uh, the halo seems to be a different size than what they have in the photo in the magazine. That's the pattern that came with it and cut it out of the same size of material. I cut it in half and sanded it down, but it's still bigger around. It doesn't fit on the head the same way the one in the photo does, but I got it super glued there where it is. Uh, other than that, everything was straightforward from what the photos showed and what the directions, what little bit of directions were in the article. Um, mainly, I like the idea of this is kind of a uh, segmentation. You dye those or stain those pieces different colors to give it some texture. Anyway, that's this one, this little uh, Easter project. I got at least one more, and I'm doing this way ahead of time. I don't know when or. They'll be posted, which one will be posted first. But I'm kind of working on them ahead of time. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you do, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.